Hi guys, Samantha from Jessima Tutorials here and today I'm going to show you how to use wax as a finish on your polymer clay projects. So here is an example of a project that was done uh, that was finished with some renaissance wax and you can see how beautiful and shiny it is the inside as well you can see the pearl white area is also really nice and shiny so this is the finish that I'm going to show you how to use today so I've got three chips so that I can show you what it's going to look like on coloured clay, black clay and metallic clay and I also want to show you how to use a uh, round bead as well. Now the first thing to know before you use uh, any wax is you need to have your piece sanded first so you can see that this has a slight sheen to it that is because it has been sanded to my highest grit so you can see. Now the round bead I haven't sanded but when I made it I rolled it with gloves so it has no fingerprints on it. So that is the first thing you need to do and if you haven't seen my sanding video already please do check it out that's where I show you how to sand your piece um, to a really nice sheen before using something like this. So this is my favourite one to use, it is Renaissance Wax. But if you can't get hold of that, here is another one that works. Minwax. But this one smells a little bit, um, and so I do prefer the Renaissance Wax, but this one works pretty well as well. And they both work the exact same way. So you'll take your Renaissance Wax, and you can see I've used up quite a bit of it and you will also need either a buffing tool or a rag a buffing tool is definitely the best way to go though so I've got this off to the side and the first one we will do is the red and all you're going to do is you're just going to grab a little bit of that wax and I'm just going to rub that onto the surface of each of my pieces And it's going to look smeary in the beginning, that's why you need to rub it. And so the red one I'm going to leave to the side. I'm going to show you how to do that with a rag. But the other two I'm going to show you how to do with the buffing wheel. So I'm using a Dremel 3000 with a handmade buffing wheel that you can get off of my Etsy shop. And I'm now going to buff. And here you can see how much shinier that is. I'm now going to do it with this one. You can see there how beautiful that is. Now I'm going to bring over a rag so that I can show you how to do this one. I'm just going to use this. And you'll just pop it Renaissance wax down and you'll rub it as fast as you can. And you'll see that it does make it shiny. But compared to this it is not as shiny. So I'm now going to do it on the um, buffing wheel and we'll see if it makes it shiny. I'll do just one side. <laughs> okay, so hopefully you can notice that there is a difference there. The buffing wheel definitely does make it shiny. So that is how you do flat pieces and hopefully you can see that it made the black quite a bit darker. It has brought the, out the metallic in the pearl. Oops. And as for the colour, it doesn't actually change it all that much. Okay, now I want to show you how to do it on a round bead. Now I drilled this on a drill, so I'm going to bring over a piece of wire that fits through that hole. I'm just going to bend that so that I can hold it. And then I'll take the Renaissance wax again. And 
and just brush it over the surface. Okay. Then I just want to give it some space to move. And I'll bring it over our buffing wheel. And this you can't really do by hand. You have to use a buffing wheel. You can't really use a rag to properly get this to shine. And the goal is to get it to spin on the wire. And then you can see that it comes away with a pretty nice sheen to it. And then you would take that off your wire. And there's your nice buffed bead. And so that's basically how you use uh, wax as a finish. You always want to make sure that you close this up because it does dry out. Uh, this has lasted me over five years. And you can see that I'm not even, I'm probably about halfway through it but it's lasted a really long time so um, if you're gonna get it don't worry about it if it's in a small amount it does last a very long time now when it comes to wearing the jewelry now you want to let this sit for about half an hour to let the wax uh, fully dry out on your piece and become um, stuck to the piece because if you mess with it now you'll find that it gets fingerprints on it so just let it rest for about an hour and then you can wear your jewelry you can string it do whatever you want with it and it's a really nice long lasting finish. So I do hope that that tutorial was helpful to you and that you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you have any questions please do let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.